Hello and welcome my friends to a mini series. This is what I'm going to be calling my very first impression of the last days of the third age. Now what will my first impression series be about? It's just going to be four or five episodes of each mod that you guys suggest to me. So that, that, that's roughly a mod the month. We're going over what is in this game and what makes it okay and what we like and what we don't like. And I chose this mod because this is the very first one that's actually been told to me like, you know, you should try this mod. And I've seen some videos and like, and it's actually quite cool. Now, uh, this is a total conversational mod. I, I just read on my, on my other screen there. So the team's goal is to allow the, allow the player to participate in the War of the Ring. In which forces of light and darkness battle over the faith of Middle Earth. Uh, for the particular reason of war intensely, only the part east of the Misty Mountains is covered by the map. Because otherwise it's just too, too massive. As a focus on the mod, the only in the War of the Ring, certain tradition mountain blade features have been disabled for role-playing role, role reasons. These include... Uh, becoming a faction leader and starting your own faction, marriage and so on. So we're following the storyline and that means that it's most likely we're not starting a faction over here. Uh, there are some cool features in here like uh, that this uh, law accurate map of Middle Earth. We've got the two sides, good and evil, and two regions, north and south. There's nine factions for good and ten factions for evil. There's different races but no goblins. War system with a faction strength rating, modified economics, of, uh, faction influence points that can be used for special faction items and commands. That's actually quite cool. That sounds quite cool. Um, there's rank points that determine max party size, weekly resource income and so on. Traits are certain decisions and actions. Uh, the formation and battle AI, battle morale, wounding and permadeath. Now that sounds really promising. So I'm quite interested in seeing. So I already like how this all looks, you know. Uh, we could go for the Twilight of Man and we can Dawn of the New Era. Uh, Twilight of Man sounds like the evil choice and Dawn of the New Era. I, I don't know, let's just pick Dawn of the New Era. We could go Man, Elf and Dwarf. Actually... I feel like a bit of a dwarf today. My lineage is that of um, a dweller of Erebor. Or a miner of the Iron Hills. We'll go for, for, for Erebor. Now I will be allowing myself to be quitting without saving for um, series. Make it this series a bit easier for me, okay? Now, attribute, let's see, Iron Flash, Pirates, so we all know this, shielding, riding, mounted archer, looting, trainer, pathfinding. Bargainer, that's actually a very cool name change, uh, but for this one, let's see, no, 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 first thing, 12, bring this all the way up to 9, um, because we are, we're, we're a dwarf. So I feel we need to be like massive on the iron strike. We're, we're quite tiny, so athletics. Yeah, perhaps later. Weapon mastery would be cool. At least one point as well as shielding. We'll need that. And do one more in iron flesh. My name is uh, Daily the Dwarf. Because I'm... Uh, I love... I love this... This, this, this letter type. Don't know why. Wish I had it. So, as you can see, you are limited somewhat to one-handed, two-handed, pull-arm, archery, and throwing. And let's uh, level up two-handed. And we'll do the one-handed later. Let's be done with this one. And zoom out your character. You can see we're actually... We, we are a dwarf. Somewhat tiny. Yeah. Here we go, Dally the Dwarf. Uh, the shadow is a growing in the east and dark things are coming forth have long been hidden. 
The free people prepare for war, the likes of which has never been seen for ages. Men, elf, dwarf and orc all will play their part. But what part, however, remains to be seen? Go forth upon your chosen path. It's probably going to be a lot of reading and you know that I'm not the major best fan of that. So, let's defend the caravan. Let's defend it. Wait a minute, look at this. Okay. Oh wait, this is a pickaxe. Oh, there we go. Here I was, all confused. All confused. Man, the game is somewhat smooth. No. Come on. Oh, it's actually quite easy to read. Because of the, the light blue there. I like that. You are a very tall dwarf, sir. I'm not sure if you're a dwarf, but um, you're tall. Oh, man. You're useless. No. 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 Stop that. Just, just roll over. Go back to your cave. Ooh. Well, I cannot take that horse. Well, we should be winning this. Come on. There we go. Yeah! So, you're Dale Militiaman. Okay, that's cool. So, you weren't dwarves. We just chose to help you. Um, thank you for helping. We're safe now. My name is Torben and I was just delivering these goods when we were attacked. You have seen those large orcs. Be have you seen those large orcs before? These don't look like reg uh, regular mountain ilk. We are used to do fend off easily. And the paint on their shield is ancient mortar sign. I haven't seen those this side of the river for a long time. Dire things are afoot. War is coming. You can tell that by the orcs, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, I advise you to get to the nearest town and warn everyone about what you've seen to whomever is in command there. It's important matter, so please make haste. Uh, no, I've not seen such a large orc before. Nasty things. I'm. I am a soldier in the coming war. Okay, that's cool. Are you? Of course you are. I've seen that you're a capable warrior, and I'm indeed, uh, and I'm indeed lucky today. So I shall take advantage of this good fortune, and make haste to my village and warn my people of these foul beasts. Here, have some of the local currency used by Dale, and that you may pass by the land. Okay, that's actually quite interesting. The local currency used by Dale, and that you. And that if you may pass by their lands, you can try put that's actually so we are using like like faction owned currency. So that's actually quite cool. I'm looking forward to it. My guards here have seen you fight and will definitely tell the laws about you. If you assist in per in people enough times, you will definitely become renowned amongst them. Which can lead to many great things. For I for one am well known and have been given a monthly income for all the work that I do. Oh, I want to get some, some money. We earn 10 points and one influence by Dale. That's actually quite interesting. Let's see what we got. So we got cram ration and we got 50 rep points. And my armor is absolutely hideous. So, we're close at Dale and Erebor. Let's see what the quest will tell us. Not much though. I was hoping there would be a bit more. So we can walk around, use an object, camp it for a while, change the DTL options. Restrict player equipment is on. I think that's cool for this mini-series. Battle formation AI. Let's turn it off. A town NPC always accessible for menus, cutscenes, injury for companions. That's actually quite cool that my companions can be in, uh, uh, injured. Permanent death for lords and companions is on. Permanent death for players that you is off. Well, if you could, you could turn it on. If you die, you're dead. Battle morale system, I can actually turn it off. Uh, animal ambushes? Fuck yeah, fallen rider damage message, gameplay tweaks, 
compatible. Holy crap, that's so much. It's actually quite interesting. So we are going to Erin Ball. Approach the hall. Oh man, I can't wait. I, I need to be impressed. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three. Oh yeah. While visiting town settlements and camps, you can talk to people, walk around, members of different factions have different things to say. Some will let you in on their thoughts, others will share rumors. And some texts made by the developers are not fully read. So, well, you, you don't have anything to say though. It's actually weird for a Lord's Hell though. You're a bow dwarf. Cool, hill miner. So, Arabic command place is surrounded by lands beyond the King Dale. Okay, cool. Let's leave. Okay, instead of just going for all of these rumors, and I'm, I'm sure that the rumors are going to be insanely like, perhaps, quest locations. You're a lookout dwarf and you're standing inside. That, that's a bit weird though. Warrior Dwarf Erebor Guild Master Bow Dwarf Okay So we gained some experience Good day my lord How can I serve our cause? The garrison commander here is looking for a resourceful warrior To take a group of refugees to Baylor village the group must arrive in Berrien Village within 20 days. Sooner is better, much better. But it must be absolutely no later than 20 days. Can you do that? You will gain 335 resource points of Erebor. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. Because um, I want to go to the Lord's Chamber. Oh my god, look at the kick. Oh, that's, that's great. I love that kick. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, man. Okay, this, this, this looks amazing. King Dane the second. Kelly Goldfinger. Goldfinger, sorry for that. Um, Kelly Son Dwarven at your service. Daily the Dwarf at your service. Yes, right. Polite of you to ask, Daily the Dwarf. We are fighting off incursions from Easterlings and Gunbards. Orcs. But so far nothing. We have our Dale allies. I oh, can't handle. Okay. Um, I helped improve the Arab defenses and trained some younger dwarven folk under the diff um under the directions of my very father. Great. Okay. Wait. There is a a lull. In a fighting that is ill suited a dwarf, warriors of my ancestry and temperament, I gather you will get to see much action in your travels and your courses in friendly with the dwarves. No fight the dwarves, okay. Uh, are you going to be joining? I'm skilled with an axe, both at wielding and throwing types. I can also help your builds low, so you got like uh, leadership. Or bargaining. How how expensive are you? Eight. Wait, did he just join me? No, he didn't. So, <laughs> yes, like he would listen to me. I can jump. Okay. Man, I love it. So you have a task for me. Uh, so, fine, let's join, because I didn't feel like reading everything. I want to request a special item. Never mind. Deliver a gift to our allies. Ask you something. Actually, this is tickling my interest, guys. It really is. Man, I should have done this sooner. So, visit the barracks. I need volunteers. Follow me on a dangerous mission. Review my soldier stations here. I need some training. Um, okay, cool. Not sure if I want that. So the holes is like your your inn. 
it's quite interesting. How much money did I, okay, so I've got 50. I wouldn't actually mind. Um, okay, cool. Like trying to get some guys to join me. Approach this place. Wow. There's so many cool things here. Oh, yes. But I, I, I need people to join me. Rumors. Of course we can ride horses. Just we don't want to. That's not a rumor. That's a fact. Ah. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. There was someone in the barracks. I'm sorry. No one else ready to go. Well, that's um, kind of annoying. We did get we we did get some Dale currency. Okay. Scout enemy town. That's actually quite dangerous. Approach the city. Oh, don't tell me it. They made it. Oh, hello. Wow, that looks so cool. Dale, men at arms. Oh, man. We need a horse to scout out these cities. It looks amazing, man. The feel that I'm getting is, is insanely good. There's all these things. Look at the background. We've got waterfalls. Tiny houses. Got an immense structure over here. I'm quite happy to, to, to see this. this. Man, they would have put in a shit ton of work. Look at this. Sewer. Sewer. Who are you? Supply master. Hello, supply master. I'm thinking of getting a mount. So I got rations. I got 150 rep points and it will need 92 to get the mount. Okay, this is weird. This is pole arm. It's quite weird. Barracks? Nobody is willing to go with me, huh? So. If you find someone, you will get it into this menu. It, it, it does seem so. Go to the castle. Holy shit. Lord Bart. King Brand. So, do you have to ask for me? So, you want me to kill a lawless villain. Now, that is something I can be persuaded to do. We got... Fenuel? I'm sure you can find some fine volunteers if you speak to the quartermaster of the bar barracks. As for me, I'm merely a healer, herbalist. No, well, not, not right now. So, do you have to ask me? No. Okay, I, I think we want to do this uh, lawless villain mission. Also, where is that town? Also, wait a minute. Well, like right there in, at the edge of the map, uh, these guys, we need to scout this one out. And quite interesting to see if we can go over the river. Man, this is quite interesting. Hornberg. Huh. I love the map. There you go, Mordor. Oh, getting in there, fighting. Oh, that would be amazing. The Wood Elves. Iron Hills. Fantastic. Okay, first things first. Um, here's an Erebor? Are you, are you telling me there's a lawless villain in Erebor? Okay. Is he in the hall? In the main square? How do I find him?
find this guy? I can use my weapon here. That's actually quite interesting. So we need to be looking for someone that looks nervous. Are you nervous? You're a lookout dwarf. Maybe he can stand out. Maybe he's not a dwarf. Suspicious man. Well, kinda. Everyone is like, holy shit, you're large, man. No. 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 I need to win this. Come on. I need to win this. Work with me, buddy. No. Oh, for fuck no. Come on. Oh, wow. That was so bloody close. That was so bloody close. Okay, let's leave. We'll go back to Dale. We'll finish the quest. Um, where the fuck did I get the quest again? Approach uh, the castle. Shit, man. He almost had me. Now, the king himself gave me this quest. Okay, we level up. And we got... Two influence points and 13 rank points. Can I request a... No, I can't. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I hope that some guys are willing to join me. But no. They don't care. They don't need me. We don't need you, sir. No, of course not. But we'll, we, we need to be looking into some equipment. But we'll do that next time. The first feel for me personally the of this mod. Love it. Uh, sometimes the text is somewhat difficult to be written and it's also quite unclear for you what to do as, as, as how to start on because this you cannot do anything or everything I want to be attacking this camp for some weird old reason so next time we're going back to like like see if we can find some some equipment uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at some of the action see if we can have like the normal camp menu like in the town so we can move on a bit easier but let me know let me know in the comment section if you have played this mod and um how, how was your first feeling of this mod do you did you enjoy it what, what were some of the things that you absolutely hated and liked and uh how to progress as for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Because it will help out my channel as well as the series. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.